Here's a hypothetical example. Let's say that you have a software as a service online business and you sell an online product, something like an online note-taking app or a presentation software or a team management tool, whatever. You collect the data for years and your analytics team runs continuous analysis to find game-changing insights. One day, they find that there is an extremely popular article on your website's blog about how to get started with your software. And the article has a great video embedded into it too, which is also a two-minute summary of how to get started with your product. And the analytics team found that the visitors who watched this how to get started video subscribed to the paid version of your product at an average 126% higher conversion rate compared to those visitors who didn't. That's more than doubling the conversion rate, so of course everyone at the company got excited. The conclusion of the management is this. It seems that the video has a real impact on conversion rate. We should promote it more, so let's put the video on our homepage too, next to the registration button where every single visitor can see it. But that's a wrong conclusion. Let's see what happened after the release. Before September 2019, this version has run. After September 2019, they added the video too, and the conversion rate didn't go up, it dropped by 18%. Now, this was a hypothetical example, of course, but I've seen very, very similar things in real life. Can you spot the mistake? Yes, it's the correlation versus causation issue again. The analytics team analyzed the historical data and they saw a correlation between watching the video and the conversion rate, but the real question is, what's the cause and what's the effect? Here are the possible scenarios. It's possible that the cause-effect relationship was this. People watched the video, based on that, they made a decision to buy the product, and so eventually, they bought the product. This is what management wanted to see. But there is another possibility. Maybe people decided to buy the product first. They got committed, so they dug deeper into the blog, they found the article, and watched the video. Then they bought the product. And the third possible scenario is, Maybe they made the decision already, and because of that commitment, they watched the video and bought the product independently of each other. Again, all these scenarios are possible, even the combination of them, but only the first one would support the idea of promoting the video on the homepage. The second cause-effect scenario says that, yes, the video has a role in conversion, but it's not necessarily the most important element. The third shows that despite the correlation, the video does not play a significant role in the final decision of the potential users. So how do we decide whether to feature the video on the homepage? Yes, by running an experiment. The company should have A-B tested version A against version B, and that would have been the only certain way to tell whether the video has a real effect on conversion rates. And that's why you need A-B testing in your online business too. Remember, Correlation does not imply causation, and from analyzing your historical data, most of the time you will find only correlations. But by running experiments, you can discover real cause-effect relationships. Okay, one more interesting question. What happened here? Why did the conversion rate drop by 18%? The answer is, we haven't run an A-B test, so we do not know. Maybe the video truly hasn't had any effect on conversion rate, but if it's so, it was only a noise on the homepage. It rather distracted people who wanted to buy the product. Or maybe the video has had a real effect on conversion rates, but in September 2019, when the company published a new version, a seasonality effect occurred too. The new version with the video has been released in a time when the conversion rate would have dropped for the older version too, naturally and generally on the whole site. Again, you will never know unless you run an A-B test.